Ingers be hoog, diddy hoog, diddy sidu. Ye burst beer, hoog, beer, skeer, bork, bork, bork. Hey YouTube friends, Ryan here for another cooking video. Yay! We are making um, ginger Thai chicken burgers. The recipe is in the newest Weight Watchers Points Plus cookbook. Over 200 delicious new recipes boasting fresh, filling, and healthy foods. Yay! So, we will be making the ginger Thai chicken burgers. They are absolutely delicious. Um, we've made these multiple times, and um, we're going to share it with you. So, I'll show you a picture um, in the book of what it looks like, and then we'll get on with the show. For you Weight Watchers people, the points plus value is 9 and um, for those who are not um, doing Weight Watchers, the um, nutritional information, um, one burger is the serving size, of course. Um, let's see, there's 347 calories, 7 grams of fat, 2 grams of saturated fat, 0 trans fat, 63 milligrams of cholesterol, 758 milligrams of sodium, 39 grams of carbs, 5 grams total sugar, 3 grams of fiber, 32 grams of protein, and 104 milligrams of calcium. And I'll post that in the description along with the recipe um, once we get the video up and posted. Um, here's a video of what it looks like. It looks absolutely delicious. Ginger Thai chicken burgers. And the things that we'll be using today will be scallions. Let's focus here. It's not going to focus. Scallions, ginger, chicken, breadcrumbs, egg, egg substitute, cilantro, lime zest, salt, pepper, hamburger buns, uh, red onion, and lettuce. Alright, so I've got everything cut up. Um, onions, I got everything measured. We have onions, red onion, egg substitute, green onions or scallions, and we are using for breadcrumbs Ian's Panko breadcrumbs whole wheat. Um, so, what I'm going to do is we have our ground chicken here. The recipe actually calls for chicken breast, and you put it into a food processor and grind it up but we go the quick and easy route which is ground chicken which is the same amount of points um, in nutritional value so all right so what we're going to do is we're going to add in all of these ingredients these four we also have salt and pepper cilantro um, it also calls for um, for fresh ginger root but we don't have any so we're going to use ground ginger and a little bit of lime zest. Um, it does have measurements and the only thing I really follow the measurements on is the egg substitute and the breadcrumbs. 
everything else are veggies and they're no point so add as much as you want to taste and uh, we'll go ahead and get everything mixed in so first we're going to add in the red onions then we'll add in i'm making a mess add in the egg substitute then we'll add in the breadcrumbs green onions and the recipe does call for the red onions to be sliced and put on top of the burger um, just like you would put tomato on a burger but I don't like it that way so I just chop it up and put it inside the burger then we will add some ginger um, it does call for one tablespoon of chopped peeled ginger I just add ginger again to taste We don't measure seasonings or vegetables. We just add them. We can s totally smell that ginger. Um, same thing with cilantro, only um, it does call for fresh cilantro, and again, we don't have any. So we'll just use regular cilantro. And you have to be really careful with the amount of cilantro you put into your recipe because it can be overpowering. All right, then we have a little bit of pepper. Smidgen of salt and some fresh lime zest. And basically, what we're going to do with this is we're going to mix it up just like you would a meatloaf if you were making a meatloaf with eggs and onions and breadcrumbs and what have you. You just mix it up and make it into patties. So, we'll go ahead and do that now. the hands nice and dirty all right so once you have it mixed up you just um, what we'll do is I will make the patties um, you put some breadcrumbs in a bowl and you dip the patties into the breadcrumbs to cover them put them in um, just on a piece of like a cookie paper um, wax paper and um, you cook them on the stove for about 13 to 15 minutes until the chicken reaches about 165 degrees. Um, we do have a meat thermometer that we use for it. Um, we just stick it in the middle after it's been cooking for a little while just to check the temperature. And um, then we'll have some burgers. So I'm going to go ahead and get these patties made. And I'll show you what they look like after I'm done. And then uh, we'll get to cooking them. Alright, so I've made one patty here. I'm just putting it in the breadcrumbs to get covered. And you just mush it around. Um, we didn't have any parchment paper, so I'm using some foil. So hopefully that'll work. Um, it should be fine. So then I'll take the patty off and stick it on there. And then I, what I do in my bowl is I flatten out the meat and I divide it into four sections because it should make four patties. And you just make, make them up. Dump some breadcrumbs in there for me. Alright. Mix it all up. Get nice and coated. And this panko, I tell you, is the best to use because um, it keeps the burgers crispy, whereas regular breadcrumbs may not make the burgers um, so crispy. Yeah. Alright, so we're back here. Um, I have made the patties and breaded them with the panko breadcrumbs. There they are. They look oh so delicious and they're actually pretty big. Um, the recipe does say to cover and refrigerate um, for 30 minutes prior to cooking them, but Due to time restraint, we never do that. We just come home and cook them. So, um, but it does say um, cover, transfer patties to a plate, cover, and refrigerate for 30 minutes. But we're going to skip that because we don't really follow instructions on recipes very often. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to spray a large nonstick skillet with nonstick spray. 
we will follow that one so our burgers don't stick to the pan. And here I have my non-stick pan. It is on medium-high heat. And we're going to let that warm up for just a couple of minutes. And then we will add the burgers. Here's my meat thermometer. Chicken needs to get to 165 degrees. Representing Pampered Chef here. <laughs> and we'll cook the patties for about 13 to 15 minutes or until they are completely cooked. And then we will assemble them. All right, the burgers have been cooking for about um, nine or ten minutes now, so um, I'll show you what they look like right now as I take the lid off of the burgers. Whoo, look at that. I'm going to attempt to flip them. I usually use a bigger pan than I do here, but uh, it was dirty, and I didn't feel like washing it. So here's what they look like, nice and crispy, and you do have to be careful with this panko because it does have a tendency to burn a little bit, but it typically doesn't, af doesn't affect the um, taste of the burgers. So that's it, I just flipped them over so we'll uh, check back again in a few minutes. Alright, so the recipe really lies, it says that the chicken should cook, the chicken burger should cook about... 13 to 15 minutes on medium high heat. However, if you cook them on medium high heat the whole time, they're going to burn. Um, so right now we're going on about 20 minutes and the burgers are right now at about um, just under 100 degrees and they need to be about 165 to be cooked all the way through. So the thermometer is is working its way up. We're at about 102, 103. So they're cooking away. Um, I got injured. I got myself on the lid earlier. That's what cooks do, right? So we're at 113. So we're we're slowly getting there, but that's what they're looking at. They're looking really good. It's just a matter of getting the insides cooked all the way through. So we'll be back when they're done. All right, so we're back. Um, the burger should be done. I think our meat thermometer is broken. Um, they've been cooking now for about a half an hour. Um, and I even microwave them a little bit to make sure. So typically not the result that I, I get. But here's what they look like. They look scrumptious. And we'll go ahead and assemble them. All right, so assembling the uh, ginger Thai chicken burgers, I use the Arnold Sandwich Thins Whole Grain White. Um, it does call just for, I think, a low-fat bun, uh, but these actually work pretty well. I have chopped up, well, not really chopped up. I've gotten some lettuce done. So we'll go ahead and put some lettuce on the burger. Um... I also have a special recipe. I don't know if those of you, of you are familiar with Tastefully Simple. Um, I actually add a little bit of the Bayou Bourbon Glaze to the burger. Um, this is like the secret sauce for this burger, I think. Um, eating it just plain or maybe with a little mayo might be okay. Um, but I like to have a little bit of sauce on my burger. Um, so I add a little bit of the Bayou Bourbon Glaze. Um, and if you'd like to order some, I'll put a link down in my box where you can get some. We'll add this to the bun. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to do this two-handed here. Alright, we'll get a bun or a burger. Put that there. And voila! There you go. There you have it. The ginger Thai chicken burger. You can add whatever else you'd like to it, whether you like tomato or onion on top. Um, and that's it. I hope you enjoy. It is delicious. And let me know what you think.